don't know if you guys can see this, but here is my 30 foot Pearson on a nice calm night at the marina. Kind of creepy out here. There's nobody out here. Okay, guys. So we are in my boat. Um, testing the lights to see what powers what when you're on dock power and when you have your batteries on. So. Let me show you, spin this around somehow. All right, so I got two batteries and they're here. I have this on number two, which means that the second battery is powering these lights, the cabin lights. Okay, here is the patch panel. Whoa. All right. So 12 volt, 120 volt, right? That powers the main breaker, the outlets, the appliances, and it does the outlets. Okay, I only have one outlet so far that I can find. Now, when you're on battery, you got the cabin lights, running lights, master headlight, which I don't think is working. Macerator, I don't know what the hell that is. Um, and we also have the gas control, which I'm having them do. I don't trust myself with stuff that I don't know. Um, that's my oven. And my stove, which I'm not gonna mess with. Um, this is my, let's see if there's any lights in here. Oh, see if this light works. Okay, that light doesn't work. This is sump pump. There's an outlet in here, but you guys can't see that. So I know the radio that CB radio works or VHF radio. That that radio over there works. Speakers work. All right, here's the head, sump pump. Not sure if that's working yet. Um, I'm gonna test that. I'm not messing with that until they do the whole water thing. We have, I have a leak and I think it's from, I think it's from this porthole and I think there's a leak in that porthole. So, I'm going to run some water from the hose, wet the deck, and see if I can find the leak. Fire extinguisher. Now, I did a, I had um, them do a survey on my boat before I bought it. Um, but they che check the major stuff. I don't think they really go through the whole boat. And before I go out anywhere, I like to test everything. So this is my refrigerator with my freezer. Um, looks pretty good, but I wanna check the drain. So I'm gonna pour some water into here, make sure it drains out. ever been used but we're going to use it so i bought this boat because i have and then i want to try to retire early i tested that so i know that works it was loud um but my adhd just kicked in i'm sorry so i bought this boat because i want to re try to retire early that's my plan um had a bunch of friends die last year 
during the whole corona virus pandemic but they didn't die from the coronavirus they just died of different things but i don't know if you guys can see anything but i bought this boat so that i can start learning how to sail this is the dock that i'm currently on and I bought this boat so I can start learning to sail and learn all the systems. It's only a 30 foot boat, but it's good to learn on. I have a couple upgrades I wanna do so, to make my life a little easier. Um, but I wanna retire and go sailing and go see stuff that an uh, inner city kid that grew up on section eight Got a career in the IT world. Um, struggled through life. But this isn't about, you know, hard times or whatever. Those are in my past. But I never thought I would be on my own sailboat, let alone um, traveling. I don't know where we're gonna end up, but I want to take you guys on my adventure. Whether it just be on the East Coast cruising, if we end up in the Bahamas, or I would love to go to the Philippines and, tra and travel those waters. But like that famous saying, every long journey starts with a first step. And this is my first step. A couple things. Um, I've only taken two classes on sailing. I'm not a very good swimmer. Um, I don't know shit about boats or these sailboats. So this is gonna be a really big adventure and learning curve for me. But hey, let's see what happens. All right, so I just poured a whole bunch of water for my cooler in this thing and it drained really quick. And I think I heard it squirting out somewhere. But I can't tell. It's too dark to go outside and see, but so that drain worked. Cool.